Greetings and welcome to How Do I Do This Zero One. My name is Tim. Uh, today we're going to cover some uh, color changes for your fonts or, or custom palettes for your fonts. Now we're going to focus today on color changes in the MS Messenger or excuse me, MS Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, other chat programs that specifically allow you to change your font colors when chatting with somebody. Now remember, what we're covering here is a basic principle that will translate to other programs. Um, Microsoft Word, when you're typing, you can use your color palettes, you can change your, your fonts and your colors, you can do it in your paint programs, you can do it in a myriad of other applications to customize your look for what it is you're doing. Now let's go ahead and focus primarily here on the on the Yahoo Messenger because a lot of people use the program and I want to basically help people learn how to do this and, and feel comfortable using the program and changing colors and manipulating the menus and options that you have inside of the program. So go to your main Yahoo Messenger window then click on your preferences. Um, now also notice whenever you click on a drop down menu you have shortcuts. If, if they're available it will tell you or show you on the drop down what the shortcut is. Now within the drop down menu for Yahoo Messenger preferences you can go down each one of these and find out what they do. But specifically today we're going to cover appearance and we're also going to cover um, the font colors. Now you can change all kinds of different stuff here. I urge you to go look, explore through the menus and see what your options are. Play with these things so that you can learn them. If you don't know what they are or you don't even know how to find them, you're not going to learn. You're not going to be able to um, basically customize it and make it your own and make it more fun. Um, part of the ob objective when you're using a computer is to make it not so tedious. If it's not fun, people literally dread getting on the computer because it's work. If you can make it fun, then you really do make it a lot more um, enjoyable for yourself. Now I clicked on the font, change fonts and colors. Now you notice message text style. This is specifically for defaults. This is what you're going to see whenever the program starts up because we're in the messenger preferences versus specific preferences for um, a window that you have open. Now that's what we're going to focus on here in just a minute, but you see the the drop down here for different things for your um, text font. You can change your font style and you can change your font size. Specifically we're going to work on the color because defining the custom color is exactly what we want to focus on. Now you can come up here and you'll notice there's custom font colors here and I'm going to add just a couple here. Now you can choose any one of these main colors but you can also click on advanced color options or text options and this is what you come up with. You come up with a very interesting and broadband palette. Now this main palette window here will give you the color shades that you want. The color shades will give you the, the actual color and over here on the far right you see a slider bar. The slider bar is a shader bar which means you either go from a dark color to a bright color or anything in between. Now if I click add to custom palette you'll notice over here it's added it to the custom palette. Now each one of these will add to your custom palette when you click on add. but you have to select it before you start actually using it. If you don't have it selected and click OK, it's going to default and it won't do anything. It won't change the color other than to add it to your palette. So let's click OK and you'll notice that it's added this color as a text option color for the default, which means that's how it's going to appear when you start the Yahoo Messenger program. You will see fonts like this appearing in this color when you're typing text messages to people, either in an open chat room or in a private chat. Okay, now let's go ahead and cancel this because I don't really want to change my colors today. Now the other option that we're going to cover today briefly, and remember 
this lesson that I'm demonstrating to you is applicable for Yahoo Messenger, but it's also applicable to a lot of other programs. Um, the basic um, function of the color palette is applicable to many, many different varieties of programs. Your word programs, your um, spreadsheet programs, your your texting programs. Almost all of these are going to give you different options that you'll find in your drop-down menus, either either here at the top, right below your, your title bar, or over here on your title bar, right below it, you'll get these different options. And you can go down here and you can click on this, this stuff here, and it will show you your text, um, your text formatting toolbar. I can either remove it, or down here it gives you the option to add it as well. Um, now once we get to this point, you can add these neat little text options. Now you'll notice it says web dinks for the for the for the text font. That changes this into these symbols instead of just a regular what you can see as words. Um, the gray fox. And you'll notice it is doing the color gradation that we chose. Okay. Now you'll notice here, if you go here you'll notice it's a gradiated color up here at the top. You can go with a solid color, which would be this, and you can see little gibberish there. Um, I can change the color font or the specific color to whatever I want, and it will appear like this. Once you do this and click Send, it will appear exactly as you choose to send it. So you can change font colors as you go, or you can opt, opt in for color text effects, which is what we're focusing on today. Um, specifically, I've had people ask me questions, how do I add font colors? Now, you'll notice up here in the color I had chosen the color effects versus other colors. Now, either one of these will change the colors, in this case, you're getting a custom color palette for a color text effect. Now, I'm going to bring to note here really quickly that this is an option that I've chosen. And this is for my, my color text effects. But you can check this checkbox down here where it says always use color text effects. This is an exception. When you click on this, it will override your defaults for the program. So when you check your defaults for your font colors in your Yahoo Messenger, this little checkbox here will override any other preferences that you have. It will go back here and it will continue to use this if this checkbox is checked. Just so you know, if you can't change your font color, this might be a reason why it's stuck on the rainbow fonts. Okay, let's go ahead and just quickly make a new font palette and let's do something in the green okay add your different colors and you're done click on your blends or your alternating color effects it changes and it shows you anyway thanks again for watching this video please view it rate it comment on it and send me an email if you have any further questions at how do i do this 01 at yahoo.com and thanks again for watching my videos.